will be our channel one. Okay, so here we go, ready? Walt Basayo would like to read minds. These wires are used to get the signals from the brain into our electronics so we can interpret the thoughts. Walt Basayo is a professor of biomedical right. engineering at the University of Rhode Island. He conducts research on an electrode so sensitive so it can translate a person's right. thoughts into electrical impulses that can then be read by a computer. We can get signals from people that are paralyzed, uh, spinal cord injured, and use their thoughts to control different things in their environments. Their phones, their televisions, their beds. It's cutting edge science pursued by a man who's in the vanguard in more ways than one. Walt is among the few Native Americans teaching in his field. It's 0.4% of all of the uh, faculty of higher education in the United States that are Native Americans. Uh, there's almost none. Walt, whose family is descended from the Mohawk tribe of Upper New York, was a recipient of the Gates Millennium Scholarship. The scholarship, administered by the United Negro College Fund, helps underwrite the education of promising minority students who, in many cases, have overcome significant obstacles. Uh, my, my mom, my real mom, when she was pregnant, she found out that she had cancer and decided to forego treatment. She basically gave up her life for me to come here. The loss of their mother bonded Walt and his brother Jim. But in 1975, Jim was paralyzed in a car accident. At his level of injury, uh, he was basically trapped in his body. He could move his head, but he couldn't move anything else. Determined to help Jim regain some mobility, Walt began studying biomedical engineering and came up with his prized invention, an ultra-sensitive electrode. What I've done that's unique is put rings around those discs which allow me to see things that nobody else has ever been able to see. Walt thought his electrodes could help give his brother more movement, more independence. But Walt was running out of money, money he needed to finish his PhD and perfect his inventions. At this point in 2000, Walt received some support when he needed it most, a Millennium Scholarship the Gates Foundation came along at a time when uh, I was about to lose my dream of being able to continue doing research or move into research that I really wanted to do. Eventually, Jim passed away, but the work that Jim inspired remains Walt's passion. My goal as a biomedical engineer is to help alleviate pain, disability, disorders, and suffering in society. As a professor, Walt encourages his students to carry on the struggle against disease and disability. The research that I'm doing right now interests me the most, just seeing how the brain can transcend levels that we've never imagined before and, and just do things we've never imagined. And Walt wants the next generation of Native Americans to have the same opportunities that he did. It's hard for me to say why there's such a low representation of Native Americans in uh, higher education or research, uh, but I, what I believe it comes down to is they don't have the education. The Gates Millennium Scholars Program is one of the only uh, opportunities there are for these type of people. It made a big difference in my life. And with his research and teaching, now Walt can make a big difference in other people's lives as well. <laughs> <laughs>